can enter payroll information in MYOB. When you open up MYOB, you will see a screen like this, and on top there are a number of tabs appearing, a call accounts, banking, sales, time billing purchases, payroll, inventory and card file. To enter payroll data, we click on payroll and then under that we click on process payroll. But if it is a new staff member, then we need to enter information about the new staff member. To do that, we need to click on the card file tab, which is on top right hand side. And when we click on that, under that there's card list. Here, there are a number of tabs that appear on top. One is a customer, the other is a supplier, and then employee. This is all cards, and under employee, there's nothing there. And let's assume that our business, business name is Intra Basic, and it's in the retail business industry classification, and it's a restaurant. And has a financial year from 1st of July 2014 to 30th of June 2015. 7th of July 2014, the business hired David Elliott on a $50,000 salary as a full time staff member, and his address is 50 Elizabeth Street, Sydney, 2000. So let's create a, an employee record and to create that employee record we go to the tab at the bottom call new click on that and then it asks for the last name and I'm going to type Elliot here and I say OK. When I say OK with the name Elliot and to the left of that, there's an arrow that appears. I can click on that arrow to enter additional information. So the first name is David. I enter that and then I enter the address details, Elizabeth Street, in Sydney, New South Wales. 2000 Australia. Then I can look at the other details like payroll and I can say here the start date is 7th of July 2014 and then I click on wages. When I click on wages if the tax tables have been uploaded, then it will take straight here to the base salary. If the tax tables have not been uploaded, then at this time it will ask to upload the latest tax tables. And once that is done, you come back and click on wages and this screen will appear. It says base salary and I enter here the salary which is the annual salary is 50,000 once I have done that super animation I click on that and um, tells me about the super animation details and ask for the employee number I will, I will leave it for the moment without doing anything and the entitlements are the standard entitlements, deductions, the uh, show. So I leave the defaults as they are, and the taxes, tax free threshold, um, and uh, 
uh, staff member uh, will be subjected to PAYG withholding tax and the standard uh, base salary and the amount uh, and the PAYG tax pay history and then the time value. Um, and I have now entered the basic details. I will say OK and then I will close it. Now I go to payroll and then I say process payroll. Here from the text box with the down arrow here I can choose the employee and that's David Elliott and then it asks me here for the pay period for example I can choose the pay period at the moment it is April 2015 so let's go back to 7th of July 2014 and let's say we are now paying for uh, David Elliott from 7th of July 2014 to for fortnightly let's say to the 21st so the pay period start date um, and uh, let's let's make it uh, 20th uh, as Sunday starting with Monday uh, so that's 14 day period a fortnightly period and then I say next and when I say next it will calculate the net pay and I say record and then it will say click continue to record the selected paycheck and I will say yes continue and then number of paychecks recorded successfully is one I say okay and then it will say to me uh, whether I need to print the paycheck, it will ask me whether I want to, and uh, and uh, I will go next, and then it will ask me uh, whether print or, or or to email the pay slips. I just say finish. Now, if I go to transaction journal, the check accounts, and of that there's one is the the amount the net amount that is paid for David Elliott the other amount is the accrual that is the amount that has to be uh, withheld uh, purposes to as PAYG pay as you go taxes to be uh, later handed over to the taxation office. So that's how you create a new staff member and then enter payroll information.